Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, we're going to take a look at LPX Colorizer from Creation Arts and look at how to use it not to create wild and garish themes, but to subtly tweak and enhance the default look of Logic to give it some emphasis and color. And I'm going to show you some of the changes I've done, and then we'll take a look at what it all looks like in Logic. So I started by copying my theme, and I renamed it Default Tweaked. And I did that by just selecting the default over here and going Duplicate Theme. So let's look at the changes I've made here, and then we'll see what they look like within Logic. Now, to start with, in the Step Editor, I wanted it to look different when the track or the actual lane is selected and highlighted. So I went into Step Editor and Scale, and then Scale Highlight, and I've changed this. So now by clicking on that and customizing the color here, you'll see that customized color when I select the lanes within the Step Editor. Next, I made some changes in the Piano Roll. And again, aiming for subtlety here and emphasis rather than, you know, hey, look at me kind of changes. So in the Piano Roll area, I went into the dark background, which is what I'm using currently. And then the vertical lines and horizontal lines, I subtly changed the colors for the bar grid, the beat grid, and the division grid. Again, just click there, bring up the color palette, and make the changes, and that's what you're going to get. And then I did the same thing for horizontal lines, and I did it for the background division over there. I made it that color, and I changed some of the other rows like that. Next, I just changed the overall color palette. You've seen me do this in the last video where we click up here and I brought out the extra row and just adjusted the base brightness and some saturation just to give some more emphasis to the colors that are used. Track header. I wanted to get a different color again when they're selected. So main arrange, I go to the tracks category and then track header and then background and then selected gradient top and bottom. And it's important to go selected because I only want this to show up when it's actually selected. So we get a gradient between those two colors, again, just by clicking that and adjusting the color palette. I made a little change in the transform window to the maps, not something I use often, but just to give it a bit more color, transform editor, windows, then the map graph gradient start and end. So I have a nice blue gradient happening in the graph that adds some pizzazz to it. And in the audio file editor, so here I'm going to go to audio file editor, and again, just the selected color is what I wanted to change. So I'm going to waveform, and then selected. So now I'm going to get this brighter color when it's selected, but when it's unselected, it remains the same as we're used to seeing. And then finally, I wanted to change the meters in the mixer for a nice subtle bit of color. And what I did was went into here and then channel strip component and then fader. And then under fader, the level indicators. And I changed them individually. I'm using exponential and I used, changed them individually for audio track and instrument track. So by changing these zero to four gradations, as the meter jumps, they change color as they rise up throughout the throw of the meter. So I have these different custom colors now happening for audio tracks and for instrument tracks slightly different so that we can identify audio and instrument tracks visually by looking at the meters. Let's see what this all looks like inside Logic. So here's a typical Logic project and you can see right away that the selected track has a different color compared to the unselected tracks, which are the same color. So it adds a bit of emphasis compared to this, which is the original look. Now let's look at some MIDI. Here I'm going to open up the Piano Roll Editor, and you can see here the different colors I have for the grid lines, which you may or may not like, but the idea is you can tweak them to get some emphasis compared to the original look, which is like this. And now let's look at the Step Editor. Here you can see the selected lane has this nice highlighted color compared to the original look of selected lanes in the step editor, which is this. And now let's look at the color palette. I'm going to bring it up and we see we have the extended row here of colors with different degrees of saturation compared to the default logic color palette, which looks like this. And now here's the audio editor where I'll select an audio file and you see the 
selected waveform is now this highlighted color instead of just a default white that we see in the default logic layout that looks like this. And finally, let's look at the mixer. And you'll see that as the tracks are playing the different indicators at the different ranges, there's a MIDI track, there's a bus, there's some nice audio with different colors there. There's another audio subgroup there, and we can see the summing at the end with fuller range meters that we have a nice range of colors happening. So, interesting, and this is what it looks like, of course, in the default version of Logic with the default metering. So that's an idea of how you can use Logic Pro X Colorizer to add subtle emphasis and enhancement to your default Logic look. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert signing out.